Hey guys, it's Mike from Fortinet Guru. Uh, this video is going to be specifically geared towards managing a Forta switch from a Forta gate. The firmware versions that are going to be in use for the gate will be 541, and for the switch, it'll be the newest version of 3.3. Um, I will say 541 makes managing a switch significantly easier or more straightforward. Um, on 5.2, only certain ports could be uplink ports, um, and only certain devices had the functionality, whereas 5.4.1 actually opened it up to everything. So, sitting here, I have my uh, FortiGate 100D, and the switch in question will be a Forta Switch 124D. And what you do to be able to manage a switch from this is step one you have to actually make sure that the feature set is enabled so on 541 you just go to system feature select and as you can see by default on this particular gate switch controller is in fact on by default so that's step one step two is you have to pick a port um, in this particular deployment I have port 24 on my Forta switch going to port 16 on the gate. So, in order to prepare the gate for management of a Forta switch, you just find your internal interface. And um, basically, what you have to do is you have to remove whatever port you're going to plug your Forta switch up to from your internal LAN port. And there's a good reason for that. So, I'll click my LAN port here. Port 16 is the one I'm plugged into, so I'll just remove it from the internal LAN hardware switch. Push OK. Once this gets done, it'll take me back to my interface switch. So here's port 16, all alone by itself, away from its buddies. Click Edit on it. And this is where you have to actually make the port know that it should be using Forta Link for what it's doing. Um, and as you can see here, dedicated to Forta Switch. By default, the system will assign an IP address and a subnet mask to it. That is fine. Um, you can also automatically authorize devices that are connected to this port. I'm going to leave this off so I can actually show you the authorization process, which, if you've ever done a Forta AP, is it's almost identical, if not identical. So you click OK here. Now that port is considered dedicated to the Forta switch. And what that means is it's going to be used for Forta link and uplink. Now, close out a network. Wi Fi switch controller. Manage for switch. And as you can see here, this is port 16 on my gate. This is the, the gate serial number itself. And this is a list of the switch. And just click authorize. Now, what this process is going to do. Um, 3.3 and newer firmware for the switch actually makes it automatically be able to pick up and authenticate itself. So right now the switch and the gate are going to establish through a CapWAP tunnel the management capabilities. And this can take a little bit of time depending on how it is, but as you can see here it's already up. I hit refresh and there we go. Now. This, a lot of people are under the misconception that all of a sudden it's just going to show up. Well, not really. It's going to give you port 16 and the VLAN that's automatically created for the switch that's on that port. Whatever port you have your switch plugged into, that's how the, the virtual switch VLAN will be set up. So as you can see, vsw.port16. Cool. So go back to Wi-Fi and switch controller. Manage for the switch. You can actually see the ports. As you can see, the native VLAN is the port 16 VLAN. And then from there, you can manage your, your switch ports. You can do what you want with them. Um, you can assign them to different VLANs. You can <coughs> enable and delete. Disable them. If this particular switch had PoE, you could set settings there in regards to that. 
So um, instead of controlling the VLANs on the switch itself, you can actually control them right here. You know, oh, I want to configure a new VLAN here. Okay, cool. Let's see, uh, we'll just name it test VLAN ID 101 on port 16. Okay, cool. We'll just set it up like this. Now, as you can see, I now have that test VLAN on here, which means I can assign this VLAN to different ports. And just like any VLAN with your FortiGate itself, you can make, you know, you can make a switch and say, okay, or in this case, a zone. You can create an interface and from there, assign those VLANs to the interface, make a software switch out of it, perform policies based on each one. So, now I want to create a policy. Okay, cool. My policy needs to be from my test VLAN, which is off port 16, which is awesome. So port 16 to, you know, way into my source, my destination. So as you can see, it really opens up your ability to centrally manage your switch from your gate. If you bought a gate that has a lower port density, obviously the 100D is not the, the best uh, choice for a demo on that but let's say you have a 500d and you only have you know x number of ports the the four the four ethernet and four sfps but you're only using the rj45 connections well you need more port connections so you can buy a you know a switch for a fraction of the cost of a new fortigate manage it through there and then you get full functionality so um hopefully i did a decent job of explaining this if I didn't, please let me know if you have questions. I can respond to them in the comments, or I can make a video that goes into greater detail. Um, until next time, thanks for your, for your time and energy. And if you have any video requests or needs, please just uh, post them in the comments. Thank you.